how much progress we've already made. When we first started, people everywhere asked the same questions. Could a woman really serve as Commander-in-Chief? Well, I think we answered that one. American really be our president, and Senator Obama has answered that one. <laughs> Together, Senator Obama and I achieved milestones essential to our progress as a nation, part of our perpetual duty to form a more perfect union. Now, on a personal note, when I was asked, what it means to be a woman running for president, I always gave the same answer, that I was proud to be running as a woman, but I was running because I thought I'd be the best president. But, but, but I am a woman, and like millions of women, I know there are still barriers and biases out there, often unconscious, and I want to build an America that respects and embraces the potential of every last one of us. I ran... I ran as a daughter who benefited from opportunities my mother never dreamed of. I ran as a mother who worries about my daughter's future and a mother who wants to leave all children brighter tomorrows. To build that future I see, we must make sure that women and men alike understand the struggles of their grandmothers and their mothers and that women enjoy equal opportunities, equal pay, and equal respect. Let us, let us resolve and work toward achieving some very simple propositions. There are no acceptable limits and there are no acceptable prejudices in the 21st century in our country. You, you can be so proud that from now on it will be unremarkable for a woman to win primary state victories. Unremarkable to have a woman in a close race to be our nominee. Unremarkable to think that a woman can be the President of the United States. And that is truly remarkable, my friend.